This is the Jesus Lizard, a really cool new bass fly from Umqua Feather Merchants. We're going to show you how to tie these. So this is a Kamigatsu 90 degree jig hook in a one knot. I'm going to mount a large painted dumbbell eye on the front of. To build this tail, I'm going to create a very long dubbing loop. Use multiple strands of heavy thread and use nothing but dubbing. For the, for the tail, which I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ferrule back over itself. This is the, the, the Whitlock's SLF dubbing. I'm gonna use the dark stone and the crayfish orange for, for this version, two contrasting colors. I'm gonna stack the first half of the dubbing loop with the crayfish orange. Once I get half of the dubbing loop stacked, with the crayfish orange. I'm going to pull out some of this frog's hair, golden yellow dubbing. And just uh, either hank of it. Slide that right in the middle. This will actually be the, the tip of the tail. Then I switch colors for the second half. This is the dark stone SLF dubbing. Once I get it all stacked, I'm going to pinch the thread down together at the end. Put a lot of twist in this, pulling both sides of this frog's hair dubbing to one side and keeping it out of, uh, out of the other dubbing. Get a good amount of twist in there. I'm going to take a dubbing brush and rake out some of this loose dubbing. You go through a lot of dubbing tying these tails, but you can reuse a lot of the stuff out of the dubbing brush so you don't waste too much of it. Got it raked out a little bit, thinned out a little bit. Give it some more twist again. You're going to give it as much twist as you possibly can without breaking the thread. Then Grab that center piece and pull it back like a bow. And then you can really gently and gradually let it ferrule back over itself. And you're kind of twisting the, the yellow tip here. So it rolls back on itself. This just doing is an example of how long of a tail that you can make. Again, I'm going to choose the length of the tail that I want, mount it on top of the hook shank. Okay. So I get that tail mounted in it off the end of this. Let's trim it. Some of these variegated tarantula legs. Mount the first set right on the tail. I'm going to tie in some medium black UTC wire. And some quarter inch clear scud back. It's nice and stretchy. in a dark rusty brown rabbit strip. And I'll wrap it forward about three wraps right even with the hook tip. Tie in two separate pieces of hard mono weed guard. One on either side of the hook point. That's the first one. Tie in the second one. After this point, we're going to 
to leave them hang back and continue wrapping the rabbit strips light rust and get a few wraps right up behind the lead eyes. Now I'm going to bring that scud back down the middle like I got part all this rabbit. Now the tricky part is getting this wire ribbing wrapped forward without matting down too much of the rabbit fur and having those two half tied in weed guards to deal with. So the first two wraps are going to be behind the weed guards. And the remainder are going to be in front of. At this point we're going to have to tie in a couple of sections of marabou as a topping. Once I have that marabou on the top, I can fold these weed guards down and tie them in. Although I only throw a couple wraps of thread over top of them so I can pull them forward and get them the exact length that I need. Just covering the tip of the hook. I'm going to tie in the second set of rubber legs. One on this side, flip it over, and one on that side. Now I'm going to build another dubbing loop. I'm going to use Dark Dragonfly Whitlock's SLF dubbing for the head of the fly. Trimmed up a little bit, get the legs trimmed to length. 